Hello, human scum. Feel honored, for you are about to watch the all-knowing Zero Calvin. Greetings, everybody. Today on Zero Calvin, we're going to be taking a look at uh, the Replica Studio's integration into iClone. So um, this all came about because I made, I recently made a video uh, about my workflow on creating uh, custom fantasy characters like this one. So my, you know, and my workflow basically involves creating a custom morph for the character in Blender, bringing that into a character creator, applying the morph, and then um, going out to Substance Painter using the, the Substance Painter workflow thingamajiggy, um, painting up our character in Substance Painter and bringing those new textures back into Character Creator. So um, I'll leave a link in the description if you're curious about that whole workflow. But I, for that video, um, I, I now want to make a uh, like an introduction to it using the character. And in order to do that, I want to, you know, have a voice for the character. And I don't have a very good female voice. So I'm going to turn to a program called Replica Studios. So Replica Studios is one of these companies that, um, you know, creates computer-generated voices. But they, they do a very good job of them. Uh, most of them sound quite natural, I think, or, you know, pretty good. Some of them are, are very passable as human. Um, with a wide range of different types of characters and and sometimes different um, inflections for the characters. Uh, to top that off, iClone actually has, or Real Illusion actually has a free plugin uh, for Replica Studios called Replica Link, which will allow us to link to Replica Studios. So with a, a click of a button, we can we can, after we generate our voice in Replica Studios, we can send it right into iClone and it will, um, you know, add the voice to the character, lip sync it, and also add some rudimentary facial animations that go along with it. So I think it's a pretty cool thing. So I wanted to show you how it all worked. Um, so with that introduction behind us, let's get started. Let's first look at... Uh, Replica Studios a little bit. Actually, you know what? Let's get our, our scene set up first. So inside a character creator, this is the character I want to use um, called Dragon Girl. I also already have iClone set up and running. So with the character selected, I'm just going to send to iClone. So that'll zip the character we created over to iClone and let us animate it. Okay, wonderful. Now our character's in iClone, and uh, let's just give it a more natural uh, resting pose so it doesn't look uh, like it's... It always makes me feel bad for the character when it's standing there in a T-pose, you know? I just uh, feel sympathetic towards it, like it's, its arms must be getting tired. So let's just give it an idle pose for now. We'll zoom into the head, since we want to see our animation. Okay, perfect. Uh, now let's explore Replica Studios and see what kind of voices it has to offer. So I'll just show you around a little bit. I'm going to put my headphones on so I can hear them. Um, as you can see, if I click on the voice library here, uh, we have all these great voices. So I'll just, you can just uh, sample some of them. Well, how marvelous. A cake made of ice cream and... Hi, I'm Amber. I have an American accent. How about you sit yourself down here and make... <laughs> yes. Well, one might think you're needlessly throwing your... Uh, there's a little bit of clicking in there. I think it's just something to do with my computer for some reason. But uh, I think it'll be fine. But yeah, you can see there's all kinds of cool voices. Ava. Captain, five unknown ships have just appeared 41 clicks from our location. They are. I think that sounds pretty good. Um, Power before me, mortal. What a beautiful day for a walk through the. So you kind of get the point. There's a lot of good ones. And I think today I want to use 
uh, this one called Freya. The Black Soul Stone contains thousands of demonic souls. It's evil. So that sounds kind of flat, but if you click on profile, you'll see that there are, um, there's actually different styles she has. The Black Soul Stone contains thousands of demonic. So that's pretty good. Deckard, get to the village. So that's like, you know, very amped up, right? And then there's hatred. How dare you speak their names? And there's lighthearted. Oh, charming. Tell me, Darian. So she sounds real snotty, and that's uh, what we want for this character, for this intro, I think. Um, so I'm going to use Freya. So what, are we gonna, what we're going to do is go over to the sandbox here. And I already have some dialogue prepared. So let me just copy and paste it. And we select our voice. And again, we're going to use Freya. So we select her. You can change between her styles, but we're going to keep serious. If we click play, we can preview it. Hello, human scum. Feel honored, for you are about to watch the all-knowing Zero Calvin. So I think that's what I'm going to use for my intro. Um, you'll notice here that we have a timer. This is the amount of time I have left on my account. So you can prepay. Um, I don't even know what it costs, honestly, because I, I think I got like 30 minutes free when I signed up um, in order to sample it. So I haven't actually burned through that time yet. Uh, I don't know what the costs are. But, you know, feel free to go to, to the Replica, Replica Studios website and, and check that out. Um, for now, I'm just playing with the, the freebie time I got. All right, so I checked it out, and here are the pri here's the pricing. Uh, it's basically uh, $6 per hour of generated speech. Um, and it looks like it stays $6 an hour no matter how much you buy, unless you go crazy and buy 100 hours worth for 300 bucks, then it's half price at $3. So, um, but you know, how much speech are you going to really use? So I think this, this, even for $24, four hours of, of speech is going to last you quite a bit. So I don't think that's a terrible price. I think that's pretty good. So, eh, just so you know. Uh, so I'm going to save this take. Okay. So we now have official take. Now I honestly forget how this works. Um, I know in iClone here, let's see, I'm going to go to iClone and I'm going to the plugins, Replica Studios, Replica Link. We select our avatar. We only have one right now. So we choose her and do select avatar, ready to receive voice. Okay. So we're, we're good to go there. We're going to bounce back over to Replica Studios. And I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I do this. Aha. And then export to iClone, Dragon Girl 3. So I click that. And then like magic, we get a little box that pops up. Um, we can choose our style. So we'll use auto. And that's fine. So I'll just hit apply. And I'm assuming, oh, there it goes. Stuff is happening. Many things are happening. Cool. Okay. Things have happened. So I'm going to shut the link down for now. And let me put my headphones on and we'll see how this looks and works. Hello, human scum. Feel honored, for you are about to watch. Oh, before I do that, I need to, let me turn off cloth animation. I don't actually want her hair to fall down. <laughs> okay. Hello, human scum. Why is that falling down? There's no physics on it. I don't know why her hair is falling down. Oh, well. Sorry, getting distracted here. I'll have to figure that out later. Anyway, let's try this again. Hello, human scum. 
Feel honored, for you are about to watch the all-knowing Zero Calvin. Hello, human scum. Feel honored, for you are about to watch the all-knowing Zero Calvin. That looks pretty good, I think. That's cool. She've, she's got some head bops in there. She's got some slight eye, eye twitching. The lip syncing looks pretty Hello, good. Hello, human scum. Feel honored, for you are about to watch the all-knowing Zero Calvin. Yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Cool. So I just thought I'd show you that real quick about uh, how the Replica Studios works. I need to figure out why my hair is falling through the head. And I need to, um, I'm going to finish the animation off. Okay, so I figured out what the problem is with the hair. Um, there's no physics attached, but what there are, it's actually rigged. There's bones, and those bones have springs activated on them right now. So all we have to do is just turn, off, turn down the bones. Um, this probably worked better. The original prop was like this was really tall, and it would make sense for it to be real floppy and stuff. But I um, rescaled it down to be kind of like a very short mohawk. Uh, so I do not, for now I don't want any bounciness. We could play around with these param parameters and make it stronger and, and lighter so that it kind of doesn't, uh, it supports itself better. But for now I'm just going to turn these off. So these should each be off, right? Yes, good. Cool. Uh, the other thing I did, which you didn't see, was um, for the Visium track, remember um, she had her mouth kind of hanging open, so what I did is for this very first Visium, I just changed it to none, and that would that closed her mouth, so she wasn't sitting there with it open. Uh, I also moved everything down to uh, start on frame 200, just so there was some, some space before she started to talk, you know, because uh, I don't want her to talk instantly with the intro. I want it to probably fade in, you know, and then I'll have her talk. So I just wanted to pop in a couple seconds in the beginning. So now if we play this back. Hello, human scum. Feel honored. Who you are about to watch the all-knowing Zero Calvin. Cool. So it works and her hair's not floppy. So that's awesome. Um, so I guess we can work on the animation now, right? So let's do that. I just want to give her like an idle animation. Uh, we can do that in a bunch of ways. Let's go over to, man, I always forget which one of these things are. So we could, of course, just drag and drop like a preset animation onto her. So I think this one should work fine. I'll just drag that over to her. Oops, control Z, helps if I do it at the beginning. Hello, human scum. Feel honored, for you are about to watch the all-knowing Zero Calvin. All right, cool. So I think what we're going to do is have her always look at the camera. So we're going to go here to look at camera. And we're going to create a camera. Okay. And Hello, you. Human scum. Feel honored, for you are about to watch the all knowing Zero Calvin. Hello. 
Hello, human scum. Feel honored, for you are about to watch the all-knowing Zero Calvin. All right, that works. All right, cool. I think that's perfect. Now we just need to set up lighting, the background and stuff. I think I'm okay keeping it uh, with just a gray background. I kind of like that. Or does she ha should have a lighter background? I don't know. Let's see what it looks like in iRay. So let's just do a quick preview here. Viewport resolution. See what happens. Yeah, she actually looks pretty good with the default lighting. I was going to mess with the lighting and stuff, but I don't think that's too bad. really doesn't seem so bad. No, I actually like it. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I, th I think that's great. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally cool with that. Totally cool with that lighting. Awesome. Lazy default lighting for the win. So that's great. So now I can just... Uh, export it out and do the rendering. So yeah, I guess we're done already. That was pretty quick. Awesome. So um, I hope you'd enjoyed this, learned a little bit of something uh, about how quick you can, how quickly you can, you know, give a, your character a voice and a little idle animation and, and go to town and uh, learned a little bit about the Replica Studios plugin. Uh, so with that, I'll catch you guys later. Cheers. If you liked this video, then maybe you could support the channel on Patreon. That would be really cool. That's it. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.